All right, everyone, this is going to be a fun one. The Earth at Night, right? And, you know, I see an image that tells a thousand stories. And I use this image in every one of my courses at some point because it does tell so much history and so much about our society. And I'm going to point out just a few things. I could spend a lot of time on this, but I'm going to keep this kind of short. And at the end, I have one example of something we can learn about our world from this image that's kind of, wow, just really eye-opening. And so just kind of watch all the way till the end there and you'll get that. But there's some cool things all the way throughout. Let me just start with an overview, right? So this is, you know, the earth. And when you look at all these little dots, those are the pictures at night. And right off, you're going to be able to see a lot of things associated with society and history. If you really stop and you think about it, you see where more people live. You see where there's more densely populated areas. You see certain areas that are more developed than others. And, you know, as we zoom into specific regions, one of the things I always focus on is geography and how, you know, you learn a lot about a civilization because where people live and how rivers, for example, are so important. So I'm going to show you this right now and then I'll show you a close up. But you see this little line of lights right here in North Africa? Of course, that's Egypt. And what you're looking at in those light of lights is actually the Nile River. So there it is from, from a satellite image, a close up the Nile River. And what it shows us is like 90% of the population still live in Egypt, live along the Nile River. This is, you know, going back centuries, millenniums. When I lecture on my history of Egypt class, you know, I, not my, my, my lecture on Egypt in my history of Western civilization class, you know, I, I talk about the Nile a lot because it was so significant. And you can see it back then and even today, how important shows how far. And if you kind of look at an overview map again as well, you'll see how so so many people live along rivers. Um, it's not just rivers, it's mountains as well. Check this next image out. The Himalayas. This is, of course, India. And you see India has a lot of lights, very bright, uh, but then the lights just abruptly stop. Well, it's kind of hard to build on the Himalayas. And so you kind of see how mountains just stop the development of civilization sometimes. So I think that one is pretty cool as well. Uh, the next image is also interesting. Let's move on. Um, and these are just kind of like the major cities. And if you kind of look at Europe, and this is the area that I focus most on in my teachings, but, you know, you see all of Europe is well lit. It's very densely populated. But let me point out a few of the big cities you can see because the blobs of light there are so dramatic. Like right over here, I'll just circle some. Yeah, that's London. Here you have Paris, Madrid, right? You have Rome. Um, I believe this over here is Moscow. Um, and so you see these various blob of lights that, that, you know, are the center cities. And I think that's kind of show, cool. It shows how old these cities are. These also happen to be some of the older cities around for such a long time. So it makes sense. They've had more time to develop and grow. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what about in other places? So let's look, for example, over here in the United States. And so when you look at the United States, you can learn a lot of things as well. If you go back and look at the overview image, actually, you'll see a few dots out in the Pacific. Those are the Hawaiian Islands. And you see most of the Pacific is dark, but there in, uh, you know, you see those bright lights because Hawaii is so developed. And when you look at the U.S., again, you see the major cities, like I pointed out in Europe, uh, but you also see how the East is so much more brighter than the West, right? And you go, well, why does that make, why would that be? Well, think of the history. Where did the United States start from? Primarily from the East. So obviously, this is where we begin and we spread. So it takes us from history. It also shows us some geography. Um, in the sense that, you know, a lot of the areas here are, you know, mountains and deserts and plains and so forth. And so you have that as well that you kind of see. But you definitely see the development of the eastern part of the U.S. first. And that's that's pretty cool as well. Uh, so I think that's pretty neat. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is in Asia. And so let's look at what happens in Asia when you look at the lights there. And, you know, you see Asia again, and you could see, you know, we think of China, very heavily populated, but you see, again, most people along the coast. And there's one last part here I want to point out, and this is the mind-blowing one that really, uh, you know, of all the examples I give, students usually remember. Uh, but you see this lights over here, and that's, of course, Japan. And again, again, you see Japan very well lit up. 
And then you see right next to Japan, another set of lights. And initially, when you look at it, especially from afar, not even this close up, it oftentimes looks like that blob of lights that I just circled there is an island. And I tell my students that that's not an island. What we're actually looking at, and I'm going to show you a close-up of this, this entire area here is a peninsula. And what you're looking at is Korea. Check this next image out. All right, this is really dramatic. So this is a close-up of what I just showed you in the previous slide. And what you see is North and South Korea. Guys, you want to know the difference between a free, democratic, capitalistic nation and a communist dictatorship? This is it. Look at this. This is South Korea, right? And then the lights stop. One guess where they stop. Anybody who knows a little bit of history, 38th parallel, right there. Why the 38th parallel? Well, you know, think of uh, the Korean War. That's where it all got split. And so everything south is a free, democratic nation. Everything north is a communist dictatorship, and it is literally dark, literally and figuratively dark. There's one light up here. I always say that's probably where the, the, the rulers live, all right? That's probably their palace, and everybody else there is starving to death. It's, it's sad, but it's a very powerful story, and it shows us, you know, what we can learn about our world from the earth at night. So I wanted to keep this brief, but still interesting, and so, you know, definitely... You know, all these different civilizations are things you can you can learn about as you subscribe to my channel and look at other stuff. Uh, but definitely, I hope you found that interesting. You can go back and look more and find these, these images. Uh, just great little stories you get from the Earth at night. So there's so much you can learn from one from one image and all these uh, close-ups. All right, I hope you found that was cool. All right, I really, it's one of my favorite topics, actually, to talk about. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.